Hi everyone, it's Orkan. Today we are going to look at the bubble sort. So let's first start with the example. Let's say we have unsorted array and we want to sort our array in ascending order. So what we do, we are first to start, we are maintaining two variables, j, which is pointing to the beginning of the array and i, which is pointing to the last index of our array. So what we do in our first pass, we go over our array until our j is less than our i and we are comparing two adjacent elements so for example in this case we are comparing j and the j plus one if the value of the j is more than the value of the j plus one then we are swapping these two elements so for example five is more than three we are swapping these two elements and we are moving our j we are again comparing five with a five is less than eight so they are in correct order we are moving our j so eight is more than four we are swapping these two elements and we are moving our j and we are comparing eight with two so eight is more than two we are swapping these two elements also so we have finalized our first pass so after our first pass is after our first pass our rightmost element is sorted so at rightmost element so at i 8 is sorted so we are moving our i so which means that uh, we only need to sort four elements now because the last element the rightmost element is already sorted so again we are moving our j we are moving our j we are comparing j and the j plus one they are in right order so we are moving our j and we are comparing five and four five is more than four we are swapping these two elements and we are moving our j and we are swapping five and two also so uh, uh, we have finalized our second pass so we are starting over again and again our rightmost element is sorted so we are moving our i and again we are starting over so we are comparing three and four they are in right order so we are moving our j we are comparing four and two four is more than two we are swapping these two elements and we are finalizing our third pass in our first after finalizing our third pass so we are moving our i because because we uh, our rightmost element is already sorted so now we need to sort only two elements in our in our array so we are starting our fourth pass and we are comparing three and the two so three is more than two we are swapping these two elements and that's the end of our fourth pass and we are again our i is so our rightmost element is sorted and after four passes we have sorted our array let's take one more example let's say that we have two five four seven and nine in our first pass in our array the only two elements that we are going to swap is five and the four so we have swapped five and four so we we are moving our i and in the second pass we are not doing any swap what does that mean it means that we have already sorted our array so we are breaking our loop and we are so we are breaking our loop because our array is already sorted so what's the time complexity of bubble sort the time complexity is n square for the worst case scenario for the best case scenario it's of n and for the average it's also n square how about the space complexity space complexity is constant because we are not using any extra space first thing that we do in our python implementation is we are creating a variable n which is the length of our array so we are creating our for loop which for maintaining our i uh, and we are creating another for loop inner for loop which is the j and uh, we go we are for each iteration we are starting from the zero index so also we are creating a variable swapped and uh, by default we are setting that to false so at each iteration we go until our n minus one so for example in our first iteration our n is if we consider our previous example the size of our array is five five minus zero because it's zero based index minus one so we will go until our last index right so then uh, in the second iteration so because we have already sorted the rightmost element i n minus minus two will give us three so we will go until third index and so on so at each iteration what we do we are comparing j and the j plus one the value of the j and the j plus one if the value of the j is more than the value of the j plus one which means that they are not in right order so we are setting values to the j j plus one and the vice versa and also we are setting the value for the swapped is true which means that in that pass we have we have our our array is not sorted 
so we have elements that are not in right order so at, at and also at each step we are checking if our swap is false equals to false so which means that our array is already sorted so we are breaking our loop in java implementation first thing that we do we are creating a variable n which is the length of our array and the next one is we are creating two for loops one is for our i and the another one is for our j so for our j we are at each iteration starting over and the, for the i we are going until our j is less than our i so for example let's take our previous example our array our array the size of our array is five right so n 5 minus i which is 0 at first iteration and the minus 1 because it's the 0 based index and we are going until our last index right until 4 in the next iteration i is equals to 2 which means that the uh, uh, I, I is equals to 1 which means that the 5 minus 1 minus 1 would give us 3 and then the next iteration because our at each iteration our rightmost element is sorted so then we are going until our i is equals to 2 and so on. So at each step, what we do, we are comparing our j and the j, um, j plus 1. If our if a uh, value of the j is more than j plus 1, it means that the, our, our values are not in the right order. So we need to swap them. So we are setting for the j value of the j plus 1 and the vice versa. And also we are setting value for the swapped the variable that we are creating and initially we are setting the value of it to false we are setting the value to true it means that the, we still have we we are we still have values in our array that are not sorted so at each step we are checking if our swap is equals to false which means that the, our array is already sorted so we are breaking our breaking our loop that's it for today hope you like my content if you like it Please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you next time. Bye.